what's good what's good man let's get into it all right let's talk about pg-13 you know what i'm saying pg-13 uh opting out of his contract or expected well i'm about to read the article to you guys right now or show you guys the article right now bam Paul Gerard, he opted out of his contract, and he's going to be a free agent since 2018, bro. You know what I'm saying? That That is beyond that is beyond crazy, bro. Paul George is going to be a free agent. Now, first of all, let's talk about something. The Clippers are a failure. Let's talk about shout-out to my boy Taj. I don't know if he's watching this video or not, but shout-out to my boy Taj. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he posted something on the Discord saying how – how erroneous it was to compare Kawhi Leonard in PG uh, to uh, to uh, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. That was beyond horrible. Beyond horrible. Can, can we admit that was stupid? Even back then in 2019, I said that was stupid. Me, I, I, I don't remember where I was working at at the time, but I was talking to some of, my boy, some of the uh, people I used to work with there. And they were talking about, you know, PG, you know, PG and the Kawhi, they're going to win a championship. PG and Kawhi going to do this. PG and Kawhi going to do that. I'm like, PG and Kawhi ain't doing nothing. PG and Kawhi ain't going to do nothing. Once again, shout, I don't know if I shot him out already, but shout out to my boy, Jordan Francis. He's a huge Clippers fan. This is no sh shot at you, Jordan Francis, or any Clippers fan. But come on, bro. Even back then, I'm like, Kawhi Leonard, like, I I'm like, Paul George going to disappear in the playoffs. And Doc Rivers is Doc Rivers. Even if the pandemic, uh, I hope I, uh, it's okay to say pandemic uh, on a video, right? I hope it is. I know it's not okay to say the actual disease, but even during that those times, if that didn't happen, if that didn't stop the NBA season, I still didn't see the Clippers doing anything because Paul George, I knew two things were true. Kawhi's, Kawhi's going to show up, and it happened right in the bubble. Kawhi going to show up. He going to ball. Doc Rivers ain't going to know how to coach like he always does. And uh, Paul George going to disappear like he always does. So even if they did match up with the, uh, with the Lakers, I still pick the Lakers. Like, the Clippers ain't doing nothing. We saw for the last, what, four, five years, and they added Harden, they added Westbrook, they added P.J. Uh, Tucker, they added, uh, who else they added? Oh, my gosh. They added, what's that, Mason Plumley. They added Zubac. They added, uh, uh, oh, my gosh, who else? They, oh, my they added, uh, what's his name, Terrence Mann. They added all these pieces. They fired Doc Rivers, brought in Ty Lue. They re-signed Ty Lue and still ain't do nothing. Still ain't do nothing. But Paul George, uh, you know, he. Uh, how old is Paul George? That's a good question. How old is Paul George? I know he's up there in age. Uh, he is. He was born in 1990, so what, what does that make him? How old is he? Yo, bro, why can't y'all just say his age, bro? All right, I got to click on his whole Wikipedia to find out his age. He's, dang, he's 34 years old. He older than Kawhi. What year did Paul George come in the league? I don't know. I don't know, nor do I really care. Uh, and he's 34. I mean, before we get into the teams, hold on, time out. Before we get into the teams, I want to, I should have done this before the video. Matter of fact, there we go right there. How many points was he averaging last year? Just, uh, listen, I don't really, what? Averaging 23 points, mm, it's not bad. Not bad. 23 points, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Paul George back in his prime was averaging like 28, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, 20, 23, eh, not bad. Granted, he was injured a lot, but let's talk about it, man. Uh, PG, uh, big news, PG to the Warriors. This is not a bad move, per se. Not a bad move because you're going to have, I mean, I don't know. It's just, a, honestly, I'm going to keep it real. It's just about the age and if he can show up. Like, if Paul George can get you, I mean, if Paul George can get his points up to 25 again, this is an amazing move. Uh, random editor, shout out to random editor. Uh, would you like Paul George on the team? This isn't a bad move. I'm assuming you're going to put Paul George at the three. Are you going to put... Should Paul George play the three or the four? I will put him at the three. I, I will put him at the three and try to find another two. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Paul George, because you can find a spot-up shooter. You can find you someone that can just spot-up shoot that uh, 
that Draymond, uh, Steph, and Paul George can pass to as the two and have Paul George be the three and have him play defense on Tatum and K- KD, Bron and them, and also get you 25. So not mad at it per se, but you know it is what it is. Uh, no, no, no. All right, ruin my, well, since he's on the screen, I can definitely see Paul George going back to Indiana. I can definitely see Paul George going right back to Indiana. Indiana's good. And all they they need someone to get points with them because Ty, Tyrese Halliburton, he, he ain't that guy. He's not that guy. Paul, this could be, you you know how, and we're going to get into another team, but you know how I've been saying, I have a video saying KD needs to go back to Golden State. If Paul George goes back to Indiana, that's just as significant. Maybe not his box office because, I mean, OKC is more relevant than the Pacers, which is not really saying much, by the way. But this team just went to the conference championship. If PG goes back there and averages another 25 points with Halliburton, with TJ uh, McConnell, with uh, Miles Turner, with Siakam, that might be a problem. That might Now, they're going to lose to my Knicks, obviously, but that's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to – uh, here we go, bam. PG to the Sixers. I saw, uh, you know, what's his name? What's this dude's name? Uh, Embiid, you know, he, him Embiid and Paul George were on, like, TNT, or, or they were on, like, ESPN. And and, P, and Joe Embiid's like, oh, listen, uh, I need help. Uh, you know, I eat too much Taco Bell. I need someone else to bail me out, like Tyrese Maxey. He, like, pointed his eyes towards PG, not to tamper. You know what I'm saying? But listen, man. I'm, I mean... That's not a bad move. That's a pretty decent move for the Sixers. You get PG, Maxi, and Embiid. Uh, you need. I'm assuming they're not bringing back. Uh, what's his name? What's this dude's name? Tobias Harris. So you just got to replace the four. You got Kyle Lowry coming off the bench, so he can you know make the bench a little bit better. And you got Buddy Hill coming off the bench too. That's not a that's not a bad move. Now thinking about it, you so you're gonna have Maxi, you gonna have uh I mean unless Buddy Hill gonna start. You're gonna have Maxi, Buddy Hill, PG. I don't know who you're gonna have the four. The four, you can find a four anyway. All you need for your four is to get rebounds and to get putbacks. Let's be for real. Um you have an Embiid, then you're gonna have Kyle Lowry coming off the bench. And Kyle Lowry is always good off the bench. His veteran experience can help uh anybody that's coming off the bench. That's not a that's not a bad move. I ain't finna cat. That ain't a bad move. I mean, they still gonna lose my Knicks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, not a bad move. Uh, I already talked about the Pacers, and here's a few teams that I think people are not looking at. The Miami Heat. The Miami Heat. The Heat needs somebody, and they don't have to trade for them because they have no like. If they, listen, I'm telling you, first of all, Paul George is one of those people he likes the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Miami, you got bad holes out there. You got Jimmy, assuming that they re-sign Jimmy. And, you know, you got Jimmy and PG. I mean, why not? Why not? I'm pretty sure Jimmy will – I mean, you're going to have Jimmy, you going to have Bam, you're going to have Tyler Hero, and you're going to have uh, PG. First of all, he will fit right in, plays defense, hard nose, you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, he, he, he going to disappear in the playoffs. But, you know, with Jimmy Butler – I mean, the East, besides my Knicks and the Celtics, and I guess you could say a healthy Bucks team, there's no really no competition. Like, Jimmy, like, the Heat are one of those teams that are just sneaky. And you get Scary Terry. So you're going to have so you're gonna have Jimmy, Scary Terry, Bam. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, my gosh. Paul George, Tyler Hero, and they just drafted center. And this is what I've been saying about the Heat. They need to move Bam to the four. Bam can score, and he's 6'10". I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of uh, – I'm not I'm not a huge – like, if you're 6'10 and below as a center, like, you should not be playing a center. Like, 6'11 is the max, and even 6'11, like, I'm like, eh. I mean, I know that's the average height for a center, but I'm like, eh. Well, all these, like, seven-foot French kids and stuff like that who, who are average, who come out the womb 6'2", like, nah, 6'11 ain't cutting it. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I say 6'11 is because Nicole Yoke is a 6'11. That's the only reason why. But other than that, they're moving Bam to the four. They're about to have that young rookie at center. I mean, don't sleep on the heat. Do not sleep on the heat. 
another team, OKC. Oh, why did I put Paul George up here? Uh, well, hold on. Uh, here we go. Bam. OKC, man. OKC. OKC, once again, I think they drafted a center or they got a center or they're trying to get Isaiah Hartenstein from the Knicks, which, you know, stay away from my Hartenstein. But they, they fin the move check to the four. You could put Paul George at the three. So you want to have Williams, Grant, SGA, and uh, you're going to have Chet at the four. You're going to put Paul George at the three, have a center, whether that's Hardenstein, unfortunately, or, you know, I, I don't know if they drafted a center or not. I mean, that's not a bad move. That ain't a bad move. He's from OKC. He know he know everybody there. He knows Sam Presti and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So not a bad move. And also the Mavericks. Don't sleep on the Mavericks, bro. They just got rid of Tim Hardaway, and, you know, they looking for a three. Paul George, uh, Luca, and uh, Kyrie, not a bad move, you know what I'm saying? But that's my thoughts. What are yours? What's your thoughts on uh, Paul George entering free agency? RJ out.